Hello, and welcome to Video Group 13's Video Collaboration Project. During this video, we will be discussing the riveting accounts of thousands of women code breakers recruited by the United States military, referred to as the Code Girls. The main source of information used in this video is from Lisa Monday's New York Times bestseller, Code Girls, and the untold story of the American woman code breakers of World War II. Unlike its adversaries, the United States took advantage of, un of a unique demographic within its society. Technically trained college women, these women made vital and historic contributions to the United States war efforts during World War II. It is undeniable that without their hard work, dedication, and devotion to land and country, America would not have been nearly as successful, if at all, in its contributions to Allied victory during World War II. As the United States became more involved in the war, thousands of women were secretly recruited by the Army and the Navy for their technical skills and became code breakers, aptly named the Code Girls. Becoming a Code Girl was not a simple process. It first began with recruitment. Beginning in September 1941, U.S. Navy Admiral Lee Noyce became his search for these women by contacting known confident ADA Comstock of Rochefield College. Comstock then reached out to the presidents and deans of other institutions looking for women of particularly a high caliber to aid in its cryptanalysis efforts of the United States. After being identified within their respective colleagues, prospective candidates had to pass a series of examinations. These examinations were very difficult and less than half of the girls would end up being recruited. Common among all the women were strengths within the fields of math and science, as well as aptitude for foreign languages. Of course, these women were also required to possess a deep sense of patriotism. Upon recruitment, these women were sent to work in Washington, D.C. Despite doing some of the country's most important work, these women code breakers were one of the best kept secrets and were behind some of the most significant individual code breaking triumphs of the war. These women would meticulously decipher communications from the enemy and provided intelligence on strategy, troop movements, alliances, supply needs, and even on planned attacks. In October 1945, while not properly crediting the Code Girls, war efforts were said to have a greater impact on shortening the World War II than any other group. However, just because these women were highly successful at what they were doing did not mean that they garnered respect in the workplace. It was not customary at this time for women to do such kinds of work, and they often faced resentment from their male peers for their roles in the intelligence community. College was a place for women to meet potential husbands and marry, not to establish a career and join the ranks of men in the workforce. For most of the women being recruited for Code Girls work was the first time any of them had been recognized for their mental abilities. Despite these inadequate social norms, 
form the early days of recruitment, the U.S. Navy believed these women could successfully take over the secret cryptanalytic work that had up until this point only been performed by men. Between 1943 and 1944, the Code Girls were credited with nearly wiping out the entire Japanese merchant fleet. By crippling this Japanese supply chain, an estimated two-thirds of Japanese troops starved to death and were thus unable to fight. It was success like these that gave credence to the Code Girls as being named one of the most influential groups of World War II. In August of 1945, as a grand conclusion to all of the Code Girls' hard work and dedication, Virginia Alderhort was the first person, male or female, to know of the Japanese surrender with the following dropping of the atomic bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Her decoded message would reach the hands of President Truman, who would go on to announce this fact to millions of Americans. With Japan's surrender, World War II finally came to an end. Without the intelligence of the cryptanalysis provided by the Code Girls, one can only imagine how much longer and how much more brutal the war may have lasted. It should be noted that despite these impacts, the Code Girls never received recognition from their work until much later. The travesty of social justice that is fortunately being ratified in a more modern times. We hope that you enjoyed our presentation and that it will prove beneficial to your preparation for the final. Good luck and take care. Thank you.